Hello, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Paris, city of lights, city of love, city that tends to smell a bit like urine when the summer comes. Um, this video, the purpose is to show the bike that I used for the Silk Road Mountain Race and just to present to you why I actually went there with this setup. This is Vitus Rapid CRX. And it's pretty much the stock build. I changed a few things there. Um, changed the wheels to bring my uh, preferred set of carbon hunt mountain bike wheels. Carbon stiffer. Also, uh, Sun Dynamo Hub. Pretty much mandatory when you're in a race such as uh, the Silk Road because there's very few hotels that you can go to charge any battery powered lights. This Sun Dynamo Hub, I connected it to a Supernova M99 DI Pro. And the beam is really uh, suited for mountain biking because it's like it's just all over. Paired it with their uh, taillight, the E3. Very well known from being really small, really light, and really bright. Now with the gearing. Silk Road Mountain Race is a race that has a lot of steep climb also. Uh, you need a lot of gear to, cycling, to cycle in Kyrgyzstan, so you're going to have quite a heavy bike. 30 in the front, single chain ring. And for the cassette, went with uh, 1051. Micro spline, uh, obviously 12 speed. When you have that 30, 51 combination, allows you to climb pretty much anything. Uh, and like if you can't climb with this then it means that you're not gonna be much slower walking so you might as well might as well just walk SPD pedals uh, my favorite choice as ever one feature I tend to use more and more on uh, ultra races is the power meter so I have a left side power meter this one is a uh, for I. The power meter helps me just uh, actually for pacing. It was, uh, it was a good help, uh, especially in the, at the beginning of this race where I was not feeling good, I was sick, and having that uh, power meter, I was like, I decided that I would try and not go above 200 watts. And this, I think, was a good way just to pace myself and not ask too much of my body. One thing that I did differently on the setup from last year, obviously the mountain bike, the suspension fork. This is uh, RockShox Sid Ultimate with um, 120 milliliter of travel. Um, something that you really enjoy when you have uh, these long, really rocky downhills and those quite a bit there in Kyrgyzstan and this made my race much more enjoyable than last year I was like really happy that I had that another change that I made from last year is the I had the Renair Splice Ridge last year but I had extra light casing uh, the roads in Kyrgyzstan were too rough for extra light so this year I went with Endurance and that was the better choice I had like zero problem with the tires there's very little wear almost none whether you look at the front tire or at the back just uh, you could easily do two or three Silk Road Mountain races on these tires I run them tubeless which allows me to run a uh, lower pressure and definitely uh, I don't struggle as much with flats as they run tubeless I chose to ride with the uh, arrow bars. It's really rare that I actually have a race set up with that arrow bars. I was really happy I had them. Because even though it's a mountain bike race and there's a lot of elevation, you also have very long false flats, whether they're uh, uphill or downhill. And I ended up, especially in the first half of the race, spending many hours just tucked into the arrow bars. The grips are gone. Been using these grips for uh, many years now. Uh, like the fact that they offer a different hand position and the support 
that they offer to the to the palm of the hand that allows for uh, uh, just relief of uh, ulnar pressure on the ulnar nerve. I ended up having like zero trouble with my hands. Um, didn't lose any feeling in the tip of my fingers. Uh, stated it before. Been using Hammerhead Karu 2 for a year now. Super happy with it. I chose to go with Richie carbon bars. I actually bought these. Um, and the reason is that they have this wide center part that allow to clip on the arrow bars. Not like really close to that stem. This way I could mount my GPS and my light and then still have room for my arrow bars. Another thing that is different from the stock build is that uh, redshift shock stop suspension seat post that offers a little bit of uh, dampening keep the, the damage to my ass to the minimum saddle by physique been riding physique saddles for a long time now again something that works well for me so why change something that works no reason that's for sure uh, talking about the braking, the rotors that I brought, uh, Shimano XT, 180 millimeters, both front and back. There's going to be a lot of really, really steep downhills, and so this will offer you just the really the the braking power that you need. Um, and I mean. It's just better for everything. It's better for your brake pads, better for your rotors. Um, doesn't uh, go as high in, in terms of temperatures. And uh, for whether it's just long downhills or steep downhills, for me, it's the better choice. So not all my bags are here, uh, but my frame bags here. Frame bag is where I put my water use the bladder. This is a pure mountain bike frame so you don't really have a lot of options in terms of, uh, of putting bottles there and so the water bladder for me is just a, just a better choice. And um, I guess that wraps it up. That was my Silk Road Mountain Race setup. I hope you liked the video uh, and I hope you learned some things especially if you intend on racing the SRMR. Uh, maybe you get some good intel there. All of the components of the bike are listed in the description of the video. Please refer to it before asking any questions. And if you like the content about bike packing, ultra cycling races, you can subscribe to my channel. We also shot some uh, footage during the race, so stay tuned because Pretty, pretty cool movie is gonna come out in the coming month about my victory on the Silk Road Mountain Race. And that's all for me. See you later, alligator.